Why do you stand in your closet and feel like you have racks and racks of clothes but nothing to wear? It's because you don't have the basics. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. My goal through my channel is to make style simple, to help you look like the best version of you and to take the guesswork out, right? So one of the things I always talk about here on my channel is the importance of those wardrobe basics closet essentials, staples, whatever you want to call them, capsule wardrobe. It's all basically the same thing. Those are the foundation pieces that support the rest of your wardrobe. Without them, just like your home, your wardrobe won't, won't function. It won't. And why is this so difficult? Why is this concept hard for us to soak in, absorb? Because they're not exciting pieces to buy. It's that simple. Like we want to go and buy interesting pieces, new pieces, fresh pieces, trendy pieces, sparkly pieces, shiny pieces, you know, not the basic pieces that we need, those foundation pieces that will help us get dressed each and every day to make getting dressed, putting an outfit together really simple to save us that time that we need. And also just to make more use of your existing clothes, right? Because the idea is we want to shop our own closets. I'm going to quit rambling now and we're going to get started on those basics because we have a lot to get through. The first basic might be a slight bit controversial. It is the new jean shape. I'm not saying ditch your skinnies, right? I'm not saying like go and throw away and purge or donate all of your skinny jeans. What I'm saying is, is that for your basics this year, I'm assuming you already have a great pair of dark wash, straight or skinny jeans. You may want to add a new fresh shape. I think that the shapes are changing for jeans and what's on trend and that you will wear them for a long time. But when you make this purchase, just be really strategic. It's a really hard purchase to make because when you're that conditioned to wear tight fitting jeans, wearing a baggier silhouette or a looser fitting silhouette can feel really weird. And it might take you, you know, three, four pairs before you find the pair that you really love. You may have to go in a store and try on a bunch of pairs, dozens of pairs. The pair that I found that I really love is by, wait for it, Moosey, okay? Could be mousy, could be Moosey, but online it is saying Moosey. My bad. I apologize. I just kind of assumed a mousy, but I think it's moosey. So let's go with that. Moosey. This pair is called the Lomita. They're a cropped wide leg jean. And even though they're cropped on me, they fit like a full length jean because I am petite. I'm 5'4". These jeans I like because they are fitted through the waist and the hips and then flare out through the leg. The key with your baggy jeans is to offset the volume with something a little bit more fitted on the top. You can do bodysuits, you can do t-shirts, you can do camisoles, you could do turtlenecks, you could do fitted jackets. I wanted to show you a few options just so you get the hang of it and, and also just start conditioning your brain to a looser fitting jean because I swear it's just going to take time. You'll see. The first look is just these baggy moussey jeans with a white t-shirt and golden goose sneakers. So that's really simple, really classic, really straightforward, easy to put together, very casual. Another option is to throw a little black cardigan over the white tee. And I swapped out the sneakers for some re-knit boots. These are pointed toe re-knit boots from Everlane. Everlane, by the way, before I get too far into this video, is sponsoring this video. It's a brand that I really love because they do two things. They are very environmentally responsible and they also have what they call radical transparency. And that means that they share the true cost to you, the consumer. So they tell you what every phase of their production process costs, which is really unique. No one else is really doing this. The other thing that they do is they make sure that their production processes are very ethical. So they'll look and make sure like the factory does fair wages, reasonable hours, is a decent environment, like scores high on, in terms of manufacturing and production. And they also do ethical production practices, like they work with partners, for example, to make denim that use 98% recycled water. They source organic cotton. They use recycled plastic and textiles, knits to create some of their pieces. So these boots are called re-knit because it's actually made with recycled materials. They do timeless, high quality basics like nobody else. When they broached me about a partnership, I immediately thought about basics in tandem with the brand because they do basics 
amazingly well. Another option is to go with more of like a bodysuit or a fitted top. Here's an example of a wrap front bodysuit in black. It has a sheer subtle sleeve. And then I have on a pair of pumps. So this is a way that you can take your baggy jeans and make them more like date night or girls night out or dinner out. If you wanna make them a little bit sexier because it does feel inherently like they're hard to make sexy, but I think the opposite. I think sometimes like you don't need to, to be sexy, you don't need to dress like you're gonna steal somebody's husband, right? You need to dress like in a way that's leaving something to the imagination, a little bit more refined, classy, sophisticated. I feel like even though you may think these jeans are not sexy, I think they're pretty sexy. They're leaving something to the imagination. And then you can play around with the proportion, wear the more fitted top, wear the heels, try it out, see what you think. I promise these baggier jeans or this new silhouette, if you don't wanna go full on baggy, just go with a, like a looser fit, more of a straight leg jean or even like a boot cut or flared leg jean. That could be a way of easing into the baggy. So these are going to be around for a while and I do think at this point, it's a great basic to invest in. The second basic I wanna talk about is a basic blazer. There are so many options when it comes to blazers. I know some of you live in really warm climates. The blazer might be your like winter jacket, right? Let's be real. If you're in Florida, Arizona, South Texas, Southern California, that's going to be your jacket. So great. Perfect, right? So get a really nice high quality blazer that fits and flatters you beautifully, that works well with your shape. The one that I love that I talk about all the time, you guys are probably sick of hearing about it, is the Veronica Beard Scuba Blazer. So I wanted to show you that blazer with the baggy jeans and it looks really nice, right? The way that you can create some definition because you're doing kind of a big piece on top and bigger piece on the bottom is to wear the jacket open, belt the jeans, and then wear a fitted shirt underneath. And that's how you highlight your waist and give yourself shape. On my feet, I'm wearing the Modern Utility Chelsea Boot by Everlane. Their booties are super high quality, really nice. They also run narrow, so just be aware of that. This particular pair of booties does not have a side zip, but I'm gonna show you one a little later in the video that does have a side zip, so depending on your preference. I wanted to show you another option with the blazer. Here is a look that is very similar. It's the same combination really of the jeans, the booties, and the blazer. But in this case, I swapped out the baggy jeans for a more fitted pair of jeans. These are gray moussey jeans with a frayed ankle. And then the same pair of Chelsea booties. And this is a really sweet short sleeve tee which I love. This is also Everlane with the crew neck. This is great on its own, but it's also a cool piece to layer like over a shirt. And you'll see that later on in the video. And then it's lovely to layer under something like a jacket, like a blazer or a jacket. And then the necklace is Kendra Scott pendant necklace that's adjustable. I know the scuba blazer is very expensive, so I wanted to show you an alternative blazer that would also be a great basic. This one is by Express. It is a double-breasted blazer with the beautiful gold buttons. Looks very much like the version, the very high-end version by Balmain that's $2,200. This one is much more reasonable, and I promise you, you're gonna love this one. I bought it in black and in white. I love it so much. Third basic is a black turtleneck. Now, if you say to me, I don't like anything on my neck, I can't stand it, oh, you know, I get that a lot. Don't worry, just swap out the black turtleneck for maybe a crew neck black sweater or a crew neck black top. Just a lightweight, basic black knit. So it could be crew neck, or could be v-neck, could be scoop neck, whatever you have or whatever you want to get. The turtleneck, I think, happens to be really sophisticated and lovely, and I happen to love wearing turtlenecks. But I recognize that not everybody wants to do that. So I wanted to show you some options with the turtleneck, but don't glaze over if you don't like the turtleneck. Just use the same concepts with your crew neck cashmere sweater in black. The first black turtleneck outfit I wanted to show you is the black rib cotton turtleneck, which is very lightweight, easy to layer paired underneath the Veronica Beard scuba blazer that I just showed you. Some Julie Voss, very glam gold bracelets. Argento Vivo earrings. These are drop earrings. And those modern utility Chelsea boots that I showed you before. Your basics here, you've got a couple basics. Your basics are the blazer, the black turtleneck. Arguably, you could say the jewelry are basics too, because you could wear them every single day. 
And the booty, I'll get to that in a minute, is also a basic. You guys, the reason I have and talk about moussey jeans so much is because they're perfect for petites, number one. Number two, I love the denim. Like they retain their shape, it washes and wears beautifully, they look cool, they hang well. They're the jeans that I reach for every single day because they're just cooler than all the rest. They just are, okay? So that's why I'm obsessed with them. But you do not have to spend that much on jeans, okay? Don't write me, don't do it in the comments and say, oh, you're featuring these jeans are so expensive. Go to Abercrombie, go to Express, go to Topshop. All of those brands have great modern jean choices that are a lot less expensive. Everlane also has awesome jeans. And with this look, I'm wearing those same re-knit point booties that I talked about before that are made out of recycled materials, which is so cool. Let's take a look at the versatility of the black turtleneck. Quick switch. Add a puffer, quick switch, add a faux shearling jacket. This one is by Mother. I love the chevron stripes and the brown tones. Note, I'm mixing black and brown. What a rebel am I? Doesn't it look amazing? Yes, because you can mix black with brown, as I always talk about. Another switch. Here's a beautiful alpaca blend Cole Haan wrap coat that I got during the Nordstrom sale. Gorgeous black turtleneck jeans and booties. Here's another switch, a brown long line blazer. This one is from the Nordstrom sale last year. Here's another switch, a leopard print silk midi skirt with the black turtleneck. You could also wear a black turtleneck under a sleeveless dress. There are so many options when it comes to your black turtleneck. This is why I call it a basic. You can wear it in so many different ways. Again, you don't like the black turtleneck, just do a black crew neck sweater. The next basic I wanna talk about is a cardigan. Cozy cardigan. So it's good to have at least one cardigan. I would really recommend having two. So I'm gonna show you an option that is more cropped, but I would recommend doing a cropped one and a longer one, more of like a duster cardigan. This version is also by Everlane. This one is cashmere. It is in a charcoal gray. It is very soft on the skin. And I like that it's cropped because I do feel like, especially if you are on the petite side, it's nice to have some cropped sweaters that seem like proportionate for your frame, right? And also highlight the waist and also look very chic and are also warm and are also super cozy and comfy and soft. This cardigan checks all the boxes. So let's take a look at a couple of outfit ideas with this basic cardigan. The first one is kind of an all black gray, which I love to do in the fall. I think it's so chic and it's also great for winter. I paired it over the black turtleneck. Here's another black turtleneck outfit with a pair of cropped leather pants. These are old. And then the same re-knit pointed toe boots. Notice I'm also wearing the same jewelry in almost every single outfit. Again, when we talk about basics, everyday jewelry is part of that. It's really nice to have just some great everyday pieces that you can throw on every morning. The second outfit is to enable the cardigan to stand out a bit more. So what I did was I swapped the turtleneck for a white crew neck t-shirt. This one is by Michael Stars. It is a three quarter sleeve tee, which is a hard tee to find. It is one size, which it's quite fitted on me, so I'm not really sure how that works, but it says one size fits all. Underneath the sweater with that white, it really makes the sweater pop, so I love that. And then on my lower half, same leather pants, same knit booties. The next basic is a white t-shirt. It could be either short sleeve, three quarter sleeve, long sleeve. Frankly, I would have all three of those for your wardrobe. In this case, I wanna show you some outfits with the three quarter sleeve tee that I just showed you. I also did a video fairly recently where I took the same white t-shirt and jeans and styled it 10 different ways. So you can go back and watch that video, but that was one of my favorite videos. I don't know why it doesn't have more views, but I basically just took those same two layers and styled them 10 different ways and showing you all of the ways that you can style that base layer. So you can see, really see the deep bench that you have with that white tee. It is an incredibly versatile piece. It's like, it seems like a throwaway, right? Like white tee, like who cares, you know? But it's really important to your wardrobe. And again, I think for fall, you probably wanna do at least a three quarter and a long sleeve tee. The second outfit I wanted to show you with the same three quarter white sleeve is swapped out the pants for some jeans, got the Chelsea booties on again, and then I just threw this cashmere polo over the white tee. Now here is an awesome combination if you live in a cooler climate like I do and you need layers 
but you don't want thick, heavy, bulky layers that add bulk and make you look bulkier. You want slim fitting, really nice layers that add the warmth without the bulk. So you've got that fitted white crew neck tee popping out with the very lightweight cashmere polo shirt. Also, this one's also by Everlane, by the way. And then you have the option of even taking it a step further and adding a wool coat or cashmere coat over that. So there you have the perfect layered look. You could always shed you know, two of your layers if it got hot during the day. But if you got chilly, you could throw that coat over the polo, over the tee, and then you could even do a scarf over that. But you still look like you have shape. You still look very chic. It's not super bulky. But I love wearing the tee underneath a sweater, as well as under a cardigan, as well as under blazers. And remember from that other video, I showed so many different options. I showed the white tee with a moto jacket, with a cardigan, with a dress over it, all kinds of different options. So if you're looking for some inspiration with your white tee, like I said, it is a heavy hitter, super versatile piece, a closet essential for sure. And I have tons of ideas for you. So be sure and go back and watch that other video. The next basic is a white button down shirt or a white blouse. I give you the option because I know some of you don't like a white button down. You have trouble with the bust and the buttons. However, if you do have trouble with the bust and the buttons, take a look at the line called the shirt. They have double buttons at the bust. That might be the solution you're looking for. But let me show you this Billy the Label button down or button up shirt, depending on your preference. This one is so sweet. I love the puff shoulder. I love how it has the darts at the bodice. So it really does kind of skim the body. I paired that with the same Moosey Lancaster jeans, the same Chelsea booties, and some really cool kind of Celine dupe sunglasses that I got. Same jewelry, by the way. Here again, you can throw a beautiful coat over this and look really effortless and chic. In this case, I'm throwing that same alpaca blend and Kohan wrap coat over the white button down. It looks really lovely. Another option, go back to your blazer, go back to your scuba blazer over the white button down. Under a blazer, just as a reminder, you can do a bunch of different things. You can do a camisole, you can do a shell, you can do a tee, you can do a blouse, you can do a button down, you can do a lightweight knit. You have options. So here is the blazer with a white button down. Another quick change, I threw on a blank NYC faux fur jacket over the white button down. Also really chic, adds a little bit of glamour to the look. And another quick change, remember I told you I would show you that tee over a shirt? Well, here is that Everlang t-shirt over the white button down. Isn't this so cute? I love the like sleeves popping out and the collar popping out. And a traditional collar is gonna look probably even better than this straight up pop collar. The next basic is a standout jacket. And this could be a whole bunch of different things. I just showed you a bunch, right? Like I showed you the Veronica Beard scuba blazer. I showed you the faux fur jacket by Blank NYC and that yummy brown tone. I showed you the mother faux shearling chevron jacket. So just have a jacket this season that you really love that will work really well with all of your basics and add a little pop to your basics and really pull an outfit together. I think that it, it's kind of teetering on the edge of not being a basic, but it really still, if you get a great jacket that you love to wear that really has some neutral tones you can integrate that into your wardrobe seamlessly and wear it with so many different outfits and that is gonna have so much impact on your overall look the next basic is a reversible belt I have talked about the reversible belt quite a bit I really do hope to also manufacture one soon I would love to make my own Busby reversible belts, so that may be coming. Let's see, stay tuned. <laughs> you guys have done an amazing job, by the way, helping me with my handbag design, just to give you a quick update on that. We're waiting for samples. They should be here in a couple weeks, so I'm excited about that. So as I get updates, I will share them with you, don't worry. A reversible belt, my preference is to get one side black, the other side brown. I think more of a honey brown is gonna be more versatile for you, but you could do a chocolate brown too. So one side black, one side brown, you can do a designer belt where, with a buckle that has a letter on it or some sort of iconic logo, or you could do something a little bit more understated and plain. It's totally up to you and up to your budget. This is the belt that I wear most often. It's an Hermes belt, and it's very quick and simple to reverse the belt. You just take the buckle off, you flip the leather strap around, and then you put the buckle back on. That's it. Here is the black side of the reversible belt, just wearing that same Veronica Beard blazer, the Lomita baggy jeans, 
the Everlane Chelsea booties, the utility booty. Now here is the brown side. So for the brown side, I'm featuring that same blank NYC faux fur jacket over a white camisole and some beautiful Tamara Mellon boots. I also want to show you the brown side with this really effortless and lovely soft polo in a cinnamon color. Isn't this a cool color? I love this, cinnamon. As a reminder, if there's anything that you like in this video and you're wondering like, hmm, where do I get that? I put all of the links in the description box below. I also delineate by look to make it very simple for you. So you can go into the description box below, just click on that show more and find all of the links there. The next basic, black boots, black booties, specifically ankle booties. So ankle booties is anything under eight inches. The shaft is lower than eight inches, usually just above your ankle bone, it can be a little bit higher. Anything higher than eight inches is gonna be calf or mid calf boot. And then higher than that's gonna be knee and then higher than that's gonna be over the knee and then higher than that's thigh high. You get the picture, right? So the ankle booty, here's another thing like, you know, when it first started, we were like, hmm, I think this is a trend. It's never gonna stick around. It's been around for like well over a decade. So not going anywhere. I think the best basic black boots are the ones I'm featuring in this video. Those low heeled, very comfortable, very versatile, chic black boots. Everlane has three that I really love. First is the re-knit boot that's made out of the recycled materials that has the pointed toe. It is knit, so it stays a little tighter to your ankle. And it also looks a little more elegant with maybe skirts and dresses. The second booty is the modern utility Chelsea booty. A Chelsea booty has been around for a long time. It is a very versatile booty. It has a very low heel. It's very comfortable. It is pull-on though. So if you have trouble with a pull-on booty, probably not the one for you. And then the last one is the day boot. And this one does have a side zip, fairly low heel, although it's a little bit higher than the Chelsea booty. These are very comfortable. I have them in both black and I have them in metallic as well. I love these booties so much. They do run narrow though, just to keep in mind. Pretty much every outfit I featured in this video has had one of these pairs of black booties and that was by design. So you can see all of the different options that you have with your black boots. It's very clear, right? How important this is to your wardrobe. The last basic is a pair of chic sweatpants. You're like, what? Huh? Yes, sweatpants. Why am I saying this? Because never before have we had a situation like this. Never before are people homeschooling their kids and kids are virtually learning. Never before are we not able to travel. Never before are we spending so much time at home. It is a different lifestyle. And so you're spending so much time at home. I think it's essential this fall to have a pair of really chic sweatpants that will be really comfortable at home for whatever you're doing, Zoom calls, work, school, but also these sweats will transition to the outside world beautifully, okay? Not only can you answer the door and feel like pretty good, you also can go to the grocery store, pick up your kids from school if they're going. You can run a few errands, go to Costco, do whatever you gotta do, right? And still look amazing, okay? That's the goal. You want to have that perfect marriage of fashion and function, the comfort, the softness, the luxury, but also feel like you could take a nap in what you're wearing. I've got a couple pairs of sweatpants I wanted to show you. The first pair is by Norma Kamali. They are a pair I've showed you before. I actually showed them to you before in the sneaky outfits video. I have them as well in black. This pair has some racing stripes down the side. You may wanna go for the black pair if you want maximum versatility. And I paired them first with the cashmere tee and the cashmere cardigan. So talk about luxury loungewear. I've got a cashmere tee layered under a cashmere cardigan with jersey joggers. The cashmere tee and cardigan combo. It's heaven. Super duper luxurious, wonderful, soft. And then on my feet, a pair of Everlane sneakers. These are really supportive, really comfortable, but they do run small. So size up a half a size if you end up getting these sneakers. And option two would be to let your, your Cardi stand out a bit more if you want cotton against your skin. Swap out the cashmere tee for that three quarter knit crew neck Michael Starrs t-shirt. Now, the next pair of sweatpants you are going to die over. They are so good and so chic. This pair of camel sweatpants by Banana Republic. I love them so much. I hope they're still in stock by the time this goes up. They're also available in gray. If the gray is available, get them. Paired that with the same Everlane tee, but this one is in ivory. 
That's another Dean Davidson pendant necklace. If you're around the house, you want to do some slippers and then when you have to pop outside the house, because that's the goal, right? You want to have something that's super comfortable at home, feel comfortable, you can lounge on the couch with, you can curl up and take a nap in, but then you can go out into public and feel like, oh, I'm actually a human being and I look good. This outfit does that beautifully. So you throw on your little slip on loafers and you're good to go. Another option with these same just scrumptious pants. I don't think I've ever referred to pants as being scrumptious before, but these fit the bill. Is the same pair of pants with this wonderful cashmere Henley. It's in this like really pretty, like blushy peach tone. This is a super lightweight cashmere Henley. I love it so much. Let's recap the basics. These are 10 closet essentials for fall 2020. The new jean shape. So a looser fitting or baggier fitting pair of jeans to add to your jean drobe. So maybe you already have your skinnies, your dark wash skinnies. You're gonna add a baggy pair to your closet. A blazer. The color is up to you, but I think the most versatile is black. You could also go with navy. You could also go with a camel. A black turtleneck. If you don't like turtlenecks, go with just a crew neck, but a black sweater, black lightweight, easy to layer sweater is key. Cozy cardigan. Could be short, could be long, preferably both. In this video, I showed you the shorter version. If you want outfit ideas for the longer version, be sure to go back and watch my 20 outfits, 20 ways video. White tee, number five. I have showed you a zillion different ways to wear the white tee, probably like dozens of ways. So versatile, so essential. The white button down. If you don't like white button downs, go with the white blouse, but a white button down, super crisp, chic, elegant, sophisticated, you can wear it with a ton of different things and it's just a great solid basic. A standout jacket, gotta have a great jacket you love to wear that's high quality, that fits and flatters your body that you can throw on day in and day out. Jackets are a big deal for your overall outfit. Sometimes people wanna throw it away, but it's not a throwaway. It's a big, important layer. So making sure you have at least one great fall jacket you can pull out in a pinch and really add some punch to your outfit, some punch and polish. Reversible belt. An absolute must have. I would go for brown and black. Black booties, black ankle booties, also an absolute must. I showed you a bunch of outfits in this video alone on ways that you can style your black booties. And last but not least, a pair of luxurious sweatpants. Yes, we live in a different time. This is a different day and sweatpants are a must, but not just any sweatpants. We want chic, and luxurious sweatpants that don't really look like sweatpants, they look like real pants. All the links are below in the description box. Wanted to say huge thank you again to Everlane for sponsoring this video. All the Everlane pieces that I featured will be in the description box as well. Remember they are an environmentally responsible company with that radical transparency, which is so unique and they do timeless basics like nobody else. I do give out wardrobe basics checklists for free Link in the description box when you sign up for my newsletter that is delivered directly to your inbox. You can download them, print them, put them in your closet, go through the list, check off the pieces that you have that really fit and flatter your body that are high quality and the ones that you need. I do have also a wardrobe basics shop on my website where I've pinpointed some of my favorite basics. So if you're like, ah, I don't know what which piece Aaron loves the most, we have that shop that you can refer to. Make sure that, you know, if you need to, you bookmark this video, you save it to watch it later. You may want to refer back to it. That's what I mean. Thank you so much for sticking with me for that very long video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you got some really good outfit combination ideas. Remember to shop your closet first. Remember to go through those basics, get your basics done. You know, those are the most important part of your wardrobe. It's your foundation of your wardrobe. So if you are standing in your closet going, hmm, I got nothing to wear. That's why, don't cheap out on your basics, right? 80% of your budget on your basics, 20% on the trends. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you will share my channel with a friend. Maybe share it on your Facebook page. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time, attention, support and positivity. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I will see you guys next time. Okay. Bye.